Welcome my friends to the Outdoor Archives. Um, today I'm stuck inside the house, doctor's orders. Had a pretty bad spill in hockey the other night and uh, waiting for some test results as I uh, might have done some damage to my knee. Um, but uh, it is getting better so hopefully another four or five days and I'll be able to uh, walk around again. But right now I'm just hobbling. So um, I had a different video planned for today. I was going to go out into the woods and um, have a video there but uh, you know those plans changed because I'm not able to walk out there right now so there's been something I've been thinking about for a while um, and there's a lot of emphasis on gear and you know a lot of the gear is is great to have but overpriced um, so I've been noticing that at least my dollar store has been carrying a lot of survival outdoor camping gear and a lot of it is pretty useful and pretty reasonably priced. So I wanted to show you some of the things that I use. Um, and I've put them all in here for now. So obviously what I've got here, if you want to modularize your gear, these little gear carries are awesome. I think it's just a pencil case or something it's intended for, but it's not very thick, but it's thick enough. It's lightweight. Zippers work fine. Um, and you know, if you picked up four or five of these, you could pretty easily organize your gear. And you know what? Yeah, it's not as robust as a you know a Van Quest or Max Edition, but it's a lot lighter, and it still gets the job done. So that's one good thing to be on the lookout for. Um, you know, mouthwash if you bring that on the trail with you, dollar twenty-five. Toothbrushes, find them all there, and of course your hand sanitizer. Um, this one here, I think it was like two or three dollars, and of course this is just a uh, you know toiletry bag or something, and uh, it's a little bit more robust, a little bit thicker, and you know holds a lot more. So that's something else that uh, that I use. This is for some of my communications equipment I keep in here, and it does have a bit of padding here, which is good too. Of course, we're always on the lookout for batteries, right? And you know this is dollar twenty-five, and you get five double A's, and there's also triple A's. I think for the same price, so you can't go wrong at that price, and they, they do work pretty well. Okay, and it's something I know everybody uses: a stainless steel uh, canteen bottle, three dollars. They did have them cheaper, but I, I kind of like this one. The black color is nice, uh, and you know what? Looks like it's pretty decent quality. The top fits well. And looks like it's you know relatively well made, so I think this one will last quite a while. And for three bucks, you know, it's definitely worth it. This is one of my favorite things that I picked up. Two dollars. Um, this is a I think it holds about two liters of water. And you know what? I, I've tried it about five or six times. It has not leaked. I'm really surprised. I thought for sure it was going to leak. So it, uh, you know, it does work. And uh, it's obviously not as thick as some of the other, you know, platypus bottles or whatever they are that you're going to get. But if you're starting out, this is a uh, this is a good uh, a good little item. And the best part is, for those of you that like Sawyer filters, check that out. And this, I'd say that actually this bag is probably on par with the bag that comes with the actual Sawyer filter. And if you uh, if you want to get another a new bag, it's I don't remember how much it is. It's like twelve or thirteen dollars or something. You can get this one for two. It's the same thing. It's uh, both the same quality and it's bigger. So I think that's a pretty good scoop. What else we got in the goodie bag? Always need cordage. They've got all sorts here. Dollar fifty for this. It looks like fifteen meters, which is I don't know about 40, 45 feet of five millimeter diameter rope. This will work great. I have used it before. There's the AAA batteries. I always keep a few of those on hand. Um, another great item are just these little work gloves. I think these were two dollars. You know what? For two dollars, um, I do have a pair of mechanics gloves. The mecha mechanics gloves are a little bit better. The stitching is a little bit better, and they're a tiny bit thicker, but they're five or six times the price. So, you know what? You can't go wrong with having a pair of these around, even as a backup pair. Uh, I'll keep a pair of my ATV and, you know, down here for uh, for trips. And to make your fire starter, you got your cotton balls 
and uh, petroleum jelly. So I think this was $1.25. I think these were a dollar. So for $2.25, I could make a heck of a lot of fire starter. And uh, in one of my videos, the uh, I think it was the burn off video, this is what I used. It worked just fine. Okay, what else do we got here? This little survival blanket. I bought this years ago at the dollar store and just you know kept it in my, my truck. I think I bought two or three of them. One was in my truck and one was in my ATV and uh, one I've got down here. So perfect. Steaks, I think I got four for two dollars or something like that. These aren't the most lightweight steaks in the world, but they're actually pretty heavy duty if you uh, have to bang these into frozen ground. Uh, the plastic does get a little brittle here, so you have to be careful, but for the price, you know what, you can't really go wrong. Wipes, $2. Every time I go, I buy two or three of these. I keep one in my truck, I bring one down here, and uh, I'll just keep a couple on hand. When I, you never know, especially with kids, you're always bringing wipes with you. You'll find out if, if you haven't already. And, you know, as far as a first aid kit goes, I, I wouldn't probably get a lot of stuff from the dollar store, but you know what? For small injuries, a little bandage. These are the, these are the larger band-aids here. Uh, $1.25, you get five of them. And you know what? I've used these before. They work fine. And this was just a little homemade med kit. I think I modified it a little bit, but you know what? It has some basic band-aids, some alcohol swabs, a little gauze in here. You know what? little tape for the price you can't go wrong so you know what let me know what you think are there other dollar store items that work are there items that you know don't work put it down in the comments below I'd like to see them I'd like to hear from you what you think uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, you know if you haven't already please subscribe we've got videos coming out every week and we hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching